Hi and welcome to this DCBWeb tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the GIMP 2.10 perspective tool. Okay, so if I open up this folder on my desktop, I've got this one picture which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description so you can also download this same image. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP software and we will create a new image which will be file new and we set the image to 1920 by 1080. We'll click on advanced options here and set it to 72 DPI resolution. 72 here and then with fill with we're going to set it to transparency and click ok so we've basically got a blank canvas now let's go ahead and open up this folder where we've got this image and you drag and drop that onto GIMP so we've got the image inside here it's too big at the moment so we're going to hold down the control key and use our mouse wheel to zoom out and this little yellow dotted line here this yellow dotted line this represents the actual size of the image and we want to scale it so let's press shift and s or click here and select scale tool we click on the scale tool, hold down the uh, left mouse button to select other options in this drop down, right? This is new in GIMP. So we select scale, we'll click on this image. Let's set the opacity to 50%. And we'll do that so we can see the checkered background. And as we resize, we know we won't go too far. We just want it to be like on the outer edges, right? So we'll leave a little gap around the edge. Something like this will be good. And we'll click scale. And then we can set the opacity all the way back up. And we can zoom in a little bit here. Sometimes when you zoom into GIMP, it will be off the screen like this. So you can hold down the middle mouse button just to pan the screen so you can get it nicely aligned. So use the middle mouse button to pan. Use the control and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Let's click back on the move tool and click on this image. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and just bring it up a little bit. I kind of want to see a bit more of the screen towards the center. Somewhere around here should be pretty good, right? Let's press shift and S to save. And we'll go to my, uh, let's go to my desktop and we'll go into this folder here and we just call this, I'm just going to call it perspective-01 and click save. Okay, so I want to really replace the image on this screen, that's the objective. And to do that, I think what I'll do is go to the web browser and all, this is a new site I'm working on for my own business just doing this in the background while I'm building all the other web projects and making tutorials and everything else. But I just want to screen capture this um, and then display it on that monitor screen. That's kind of the objective. So I will use the Windows snipping tool. So we'll click on that. Or you can use any other screen capture. You can press F12 or print screen, uh, the print screen button on your keyboard. But this tool will allow us to print screen or capture this exact screen here. So we'll go to the mode and we'll set it to window and then we'll click here and here's our screen capture job done. Let's go to file save as and we'll go back to this PC, go back to my desktop. We'll go to this GIMP folder and we'll set it to PNG file and it's just going to be called capture.png. We'll click save and close this. We can close down the web browser now and if we go to the folder on my desktop, we've now got this screen capture of that website and we want to drag and drop that into the layer stack. Okay, so let's drag that so that it sits on the top layer. So it must sit on the very top, this screen capture. We'll drag it to the very top layer. And the next thing we want to do is really resize this image. So we can click back on the scale tool. It's already selected. Let's just click on the image and let's scale it down. We don't want to scale it too far. We want to scale it so it's a little bit bigger than the monitor. So roughly around this sort of size should be pretty good, right? And we'll click scale. Now we want to change its perspective. So let's click Let's left click on the scale tool here and then select perspective here. And we want to zoom in a little bit. So let's hold down the control key. Let's try and zoom in and we can hold down the middle mouse button to pan around. And we're going to click on this top capture image, the screen capture, and then click on the picture. And we get four little handles um, in the corners, right? These four little handles. And we're just going to take one of the handles and try and align it as best as possible with the monitor screen. We'll grab the other one and we'll drag it over here. So if you've been watching some of my YouTube tutorials, if you've been looking at the thumbnails for those tutorials, you'll see um, quite a lot of them now. I'm taking these stock images off Unsplash or wherever I find them, and um, then I'm overlaying my sort of graphic on top of the monitor screen just to make you know those thumbnails a bit more enticing to click. So hopefully you've seen that. Uh, we want to align this a little bit better down here. There's kind of this dark shadow down the, down the side here. This monitor looks quite inset quite a lot, the screen. So we just want to make sure we set this up nicely, right? So the more time you take here, be quite careful how you align it. It's just going to look a lot better 
the end result so take your time and do this right uh, let's see look so before you commit to that you can um, hold down the control key and just zoom out just see roughly what does it look like does it look right I think up here in the top edge it looks a little bit too high for me so I'm just going to drag it down a little bit to about here somewhere like around here let's see what it looks like now so I think that's pretty good I could play around with it a little bit more but I think that is going to be pretty good let's just see on this side here I think that's pretty good there and our top edge looks pretty good so we click transform and then we can zoom back out and normally I just click on the background to just deselect everything on the screen so it's only selecting the transparent background and now you can see what it looks like so the idea here is to not show you only how to overlay this picture on this monitor screen you can go and screen capture anything it could be your own website it could be anything you want right it could be your Facebook page maybe you could do a little sort of uh, thumbnail for Facebook or for maybe Twitter or something else maybe for your Instagram or whatever you want to do and you can overlay your your Facebook page or your Instagram or whatever you want on top of these monitor screens you don't have to use this particular picture of this screen you can use any image you like just go to unsplash or pixabay download a picture where you can see the monitor screen quite clearly you don't really want objects in front of it that's going to make life a little bit more difficult for you because you have to cut around those objects but if you've got a nice clear image of your screen this is how you can quickly overlay it with some sort of other graphic you can take this same approach if you imagine if you've got a painting or something you want to stick it on the wall and the wall is not sort of a flat sort of surface it's at an angle so you can see this wall behind us it's actually at an angle right just by looking at the table you can see uh, it's not the wall is not straight dead on so when you were to um, add that picture you would have to distort it or change its perspective so it fits nicely uh, on that wall and it looks correct rather than just being a flat object here that just doesn't look right you have to get the perspective right so um, I decided to use this monitor because it helps us it's kind of like a good guide in terms of the cornering and the edging but if you're taking a different picture maybe it's a wall outside or something like that then you want to try and get some sort of um, you know something on the wall where you can judge whether that shape should be uh, changing its perspective to meet or to, to um, fit that particular picture well so let's go ahead and go to file save and then we'll go to file export as and like usual we'll export it as a jpeg file let's go to a jpeg file here and we'll save it in the same directory with a perspective 01.jpg let's just click save and we'll leave it at 90% compression is fine let's close down GIMP let's close this down and we can now see this nice new image that we've created and I guess if we click here let's go this way we can see the original one and we can see our one with our little overlay on top so that's how i use the perspective tool in gimp to overlay an image on top of a monitor screen go and experiment with that go and take some photographs from outside maybe you can take some sort of graffiti artwork and then overlay it on a wall and change its perspective so it looks like it's matching that wall quite well but go and be creative and go and make something nice uh maybe you can use this for your youtube thumbnails like i've done in the previous um thumbnails that i've been creating okay let's close this let's close down this folder that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial